looking hot today. Version one. We'll see what version of them shows up now. Plot twist. A team that's got talent as well. We've seen Sosa put on a scoring show like we just yeah. saw T. Carell do before. Taroko and Mectos also very mechanical players. The double tap missed from Torment. He had this set up perfectly. We need to hit up T. Carell. We need the tips, <laughs> the notes of how to hit those every time. T. Carell gonna send Torment a steam message. <laughs> just like you a, need help, I a got you. Spreadsheet. Of, of tips and tactics. Here's, to those here's some training time. packs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that would be learning from the best, T. Carell. It's double taps for something, but now, see if version one can figure things out. Torment backward pass to AXB. Double tap, chance for him. And that shot too far down, too weak. Gimmick backward pass. <laughs> Torment and AXB bumping each other. A little bit confused. I think for version one though, James, I don't know if you if you agree with this. It, I'm always just looking for the striker. I think once version one can uh, have somebody step up as that solidified striker, that's when we'll see them start to pop off. Until then, you know, I, they're kind of just floating around here uh, near the middle of the pack. And which player do you think is going to be that striker that develops? I mean, it, for me, it just has to be gimmick with his playstyle and the way he rotates around the ball. He has to be that striker who steps up. We just haven't seen it yet. And we know he's capable of it. And we've seen a lot of it from AXB. AXB. Oh, yeah. Formerly on Space Station. AXB has been very good as he gets a flick there. Now rebound out for gimmick. Shot opportunity for Torment. Backward bounce. AXB. Too slow to it. And now Torment will be getting bumped around. Last back. Version 1 has had multiple chances to score early on. Can't find that finishing touch. Yeah, just make sure you're keeping the pressure on, though. That's not a good clear from Torment. It's too easily read from Sosa, who I'm always looking at on the side of Plot Twist to be the striker. We talked about always having somebody to step up. Usually it's Sosa on Plot Twist. He starts out strong here in game one. Well, time flipped as well. The ball was coming at him hard. Had to time that flip perfect to get the height on that. Good shot from Sosa. Ball bouncing over gimmick. Sosa floats this one. It was off target. Torment. It's dunked, however. Oh, bouncing Whoa. off the corner. <laughs> it didn't even look like Gimmick was worried about that play at all. He's just, oh, this He's is just... fine. No big deal. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Oh, and he gets the bump, though. Okay, making up for it. I mean, not really making up for much. He was just super patient. Not used to seeing that in Sosa again to clear it out. So good plays so far from Plot Twist. Just making sure they read that clear. In version one, they've had the pressure. We just haven't seen the shot. AXP gets the ball. At the midfield, he's going to go for a demo on Taroko, but Taroko jumped early. Gimmick back pass. Double commit again from version one. Sosa shot. That double commit comes back to bite version one. What? This was a weird play. Torment was turning on the ball, and then AXB just came out of nowhere and cleared it to his own half. That was very awkward. I'm not even sure if maybe AXB thought Torment was an enemy or something to try and get it away from him. But that just gave away all the possession and cut off the rotation. Now Plot Twist, that's almost a free goal given to them. Yeah, that was definitely a miscommunication. Torment diving in. Oh, that's a good skip pass. Torment can't get there in time. AXB, the speed. Ball floating up. Mectos first to it. Plot Twist, speedy. Sosa challenging AXB there. Torment. Poking in around one, but Taroko will get a long clear up to Mektos. Mektos getting beat by Gimmick. Gimmick opting for that midfield boost. Sosa will challenge. Now Taroko will challenge. Ball kicks back to Gimmick. Puts it up. AXB gets a bump, leaving space for Gimmick. Gimmick first Gimmick. touch. Gets it around the defender, and Gimmick will put in the first goal for version one. Pay attention to the defender. It's Sosa wrapping around on the, on the uh, other side of the pitch, trying to get in position. He's a little bit too far left gimmick. It was almost a fake to just tap it once. Lots of times we'll see players in that situation if you're on the offensive side of the ball, control it 
and try to go the opposite direction. Gimmick just goes one way and it throws Sosa completely off. And uh, credit to AXB for getting that bump immediately recognizing the chance. Yeah. Hit that bump clean. And now you're frustrated though. You gave away one goal. It would be tied up now if you hadn't had that double commit earlier. Taroko's 50 kills the ball. Sosa backboard pass. AXB can't get there in time. And version one has to pay for it. Mectos hammers that one in. 40 seconds left, Sosa. He gets that hit up and then he bumps Gimmick. I don't know if Gimmick would have had a save on the play. He might have had a chance, but nonetheless, it's still good hustle from Sosa to go for that extra play. Plot twist now, up by two goals, 38 seconds left, version one. I don't think it's possible. They've had some good offense, but not the striking we want to see. Got to score one now for version one. Bounce pass, broken up. Mechdos, will he go for the double? Doesn't matter, AXB had the backboard defended. Hard shot, now hard clear from Torment. Mechdos, fine to play boom ball. AXB beat to the ball by Taroko. now Sosa up. And with that, plot twist, convincing game one victory. And these guys are playing surprisingly well. I mean, I've always been a fan, a fan of plot twist, but they are comfortable on the pitch going up against a lot of experienced players. And I think there's two things uh, out of plot twist play style that I really love. It's the challenges, um, which incorporates a lot of solid rotations and also the speed. On defense, they are beating version one to the clear almost every single time, even the final moments there. If you go back and look at it, you can see they got that final clear off of great speed from a player of plot twist who just completely outpaced version one. And on the other half, they're always winning challenges in the midfield and keeping the pressure on. I haven't even seen them lose a 50 for what feels like ages against version one, and they've kept the pressure on. And, and a lot of misplays as well. And you wonder if the pressure yeah. is resulting in a lot of those misplays. It's true. We saw some double commits, the miscommunication with AXB hitting it back. AXB what? narrowly missing that ball there. Yeah. So version one, not looking as clean as we've seen them in the past and plot twist with their speed, punishing every mistake that version one makes. Yeah, it, well, it's teams like plot twist who have the speed. Uh, who are the kryptonite of anybody who's uh, having some mechanical errors. You know, you see version one go up in the air and they, they get one or two misses and you think, oh, it's fine. It's, it's not the end of the world, but with how fast plot twists are coming in, they're going to counter attack in, in, a, in the blink of an eye. And you can't be making those mechanical errors off the backboard or even in the midfield with the double commits. Gimmick will stay with this. Blocked by Taroko. Torment getting harassed as well. Gimmick's flick. Causing some problems. AXB dribbling it up and sending it to the other corner for plot twist. Mectos will let it bounce, now beating Torment to that one. AXB clearing it back. The plot twist corner to where Taroko's waiting. Taroko, right to Gimmick. Gimmick backward pass. Sosa didn't get the save. The oh, shot that is crossbar down from AXB. Excellent pressure from version one. Oh, I love Gimmick here in the corner. He just kept it close off the off that first touch and then was able to outpace the other defender. A lot of times we won't see that against Plot Twist where somebody uh, has better speed, but it's Gimmick in the corner being annoying. That's what we always see from Gimmick too. I think back to that land performance, I believe in season six where Cloud9 took it. Gimmick, every time it goes in the corner, he makes a play out of a 50 or just simply beating the other opponent in a 1v1 and opening up space for his teammate. He does it again here for version one. That's the slot I want to see him fit into. And Sosa from the midfield. This almost feels like the last series with, with how far out this shot was taken from. Sosa pinging that one 83 miles an hour. That was a scorcher. And Mektos, Taroko playing support for Sosa striking. It's working out. Sosa going for the double, misses. Gimmick will get the mid boost and the hit off the ceiling. AXB, 50, kicks it off to the side. A race between Torment and Sosa. Torment comes out on top. Now up above the plot twist net, floating around. AXB, the challenge at the midfield. Mektos, wrapping around it. Floats it over Torment. Gimmick will have to turn. Gimmick dodging the demo for Mektos. 
Corner pass, Taroko airborne. The shot blocked by AXB, now down to Gimmick. Gimmick has Torment on his left. Floating ball. Taroko. Got some confusion on the player's side right now. Looks like one team calling for a pause. A little bit of an awkward play, but we'll, we'll take it though. I mean, I, I think these players are trying to get everything situated. It might be um, some internet issues. Usually that's the issue with a, a lot of these players uh, coming in. Sometimes your internet's just disconnecting left and right. We're gonna get a pause and let them figure that out. But this this game alone, it got kind of slow paced. I don't know what it was at the end here. Um, and it just seemed like both teams were comfortable with playing that boomer ball, James, and just hitting it back and forth. Yeah, and, and this game has been a lot closer. Version one, Cleaning yeah. up their rotations, looking a lot smoother. No more mistakes. Yeah, no, a lot uh, less mistakes. Torment also on that play completely faked out the defender when he took that shot, uh, or when he was faking that shot, and that yeah. was what allowed it to bounce out uh, to AXB to get that goal. So this has been a much different game from version one, looking to be hanging with it. So we'll get right back in the game as soon as we can. Players having some internet issues, so we'll yeah. get that resolved. And get back in the game as soon as possible. But I do Turtle... think my perspective, though, on version one. Sorry to cut you off. Um, I, I was just thinking about gimmick being in the corners and going for the shots. You know how earlier, James, I had mentioned the fact that I thought somebody from version one needs to step up and be the striker. And I thought it was gimmick. I feel like I'm completely wrong in, in that in that idea or that perspective because with how gimmick is working the corners here, at least in this matchup, it feels like that is the style that version one should be go going for and leaning to because torment he comes in as that third man striker or axb who we know is a beast when it comes down to him uh having that final shot he always seems to sink the ball in so maybe gimmick he is the key factor in the corners and winning those 50s james yeah and he has been uh doing exactly that in this game we saw him being that kindling that started the fire for version one out in the corner allowing AXB to get that rebound goal. So gimmick, good speed from him. We even saw him very calm and collected off that one ball that bounced off the corner yeah. earlier. He, You know, he's one of those players that does doesn't it. seem to let any pressure affect him. Yeah, I mean, even thinking back to the the comms uh, for season six, or anytime you saw the previous roster of Cloud9 on land, they were still quiet. It seemed like they had no emotions whatsoever, just robots trying to figure out how to play uh, Rocket League. And most of the time it worked out for them, so... Maybe the same kind of atmosphere. I'd love to get a taste of what the comms are like in version one and see how they're handling things up here as they fight against Plot Twist, where they seem to be pretty comfortable. Well, Turtle, we're going to go to a quick break while we get these player issues resolved. And so we'll have the continuation of game two when we come back.
The player connection issues have been resolved. Thank you for your patience. We're gonna get right into game two at two four minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. It's tied up one to one. Turtle, break down what's happened so far in this game. Oh man, it has been a close series. Uh, in the beginning, plot twist, so dominant with the speed, uh, the possession, and also all of the shooting on the side of plot twist. That's just been a lot super more superior, excuse me, uh, than version one who has been trying to figure out their defense. A couple of awkward mistakes we talked about earlier, uncharacteristic from them. We'll see Eggs be maybe cut in rotation, uh, cutting his teammates off, and it kind of breaks down everything that the defense has to offer. So slowly, version one have managed to get out of here, and then the first goal even was gimmick in the corner. And I talked about it earlier before we took the break. That's, I think, what's gonna work out the best for version one is throwing gimmick in the corner, trying to win 50s. He is a beast when it comes to the 50s. Version one also got Firebrenner to coach them, so of course they're never gonna lose a challenge. But does it even matter when the demos are on the field and you're taken out? Big demo, Taroko hunting Torment down. Mechdos double tap off the ground. And just like that, plot twist, take the lead. Off kickoff, Mechdos, if he got that on target, that would have been a goal. Rebound out to Taroko. AXP and Torment go for it. Torment gets demoed again. Respawns on the right side, however. We'll hit AXB off the corner. AXB Touch. stealing pass attempt. Where was the follow up though? You see how much time there was from AXB's hit for Torment to come follow through? And that let the defense of Plot Twist uh, find somebody to get the challenge and find contact on the ball when if you had gone right away and had the same speed that Plot Twist has been approaching their offense with, you would have gotten a goal or at least a better shot on net. See in version one, struggle a bit. Sosa was the last back. Defended that easily. AXB, hard hit off the sidewall. And again, you can see the space, such a huge gap in the rotations and in the midfield. Version one oh, struggling. <laughs> Mektos, that would have been a highlight play. We saw him pop that ball up, uh, then hover to the ceiling to get his reset. Would have been juicy, of course, but still. Only trailing, or excuse me, only leading by one as version one, like you said. There is a lot of space. It seems like everybody <laughs> just wants to rotate to the net. Taroka now bumping Torment. They're the only ones who are physical. We don't see any of that uh, reciprocated from version one. Torment has been getting bullied as well. It's <laughs> pretty much every time it's been him. Back pass. That shot couldn't find the mark, but it was another double commit that left version one vulnerable. Gimmick, double can you get another touch here? Double tap pass. The side flip oh. Torment. <laughs> How does that happen? He hit the crossbar and the post, and it didn't go in. <laughs> oh no, that is the worst way to miss a shot. Double crossbar hits. Now version one, the final seconds, they have to get something here. Keep the ball up. This could be a gimmick to double tap. He doesn't have the follow up. Still maybe AXB, no Sosa's there for the clear. This one's probably gonna drop. And of course the bump comes out on the field. Plot switch now go up again. Wow, <laughs> that was... An exciting ending. Version one seemed to have yeah. the game tying opportunity. Torment narrowly missing. That, that's what I was talking about with the striker. It, version one, I love this roster. I love all three of these players. I think they're phenomenal in their own regards. It's just like all of them kind of want to just play defense at the same time instead of pushing somebody forward. Gimmick will throw himself in the corner for a couple of chances and it works out. And then now Torment, we need him to step up for striking. Unfortunately, he hits the crossbar and the post. Meanwhile, on the other side, you've got everybody stepping up and more specifically, Sosa being a beast. Sosa continues to score and you see that on the replay, almost <laughs> the at worst. point blank, hitting the, the crossbar in the post. That has got to feel miserable. Yeah. Version one, looking to bounce back. Plot twist appear to have this under control. Sosa, the 50. Now ball in the middle, double commit. AXB will have an opportunity. That was a good hit. Now opening up a chance, rebound to Gimmick. Gimmick scores it. Gimmick, his shooting started all that pressure. 
And it kept going, forcing mistake after mistake from Plot Twist. That's what we need. AXB, it wasn't the prettiest shot, but as long as he made a goalkeeper or two jump at the ball and not get the best clear, that's all he needed to do. Gimmick will come in for an easier hit. We've been waiting for that. That's revenge. I'm sure Torment is pretty happy they can go up early in this game after that frustrating miss in the previous one. Version one. Perhaps this is the start of the comeback. Got a long way to go. Still in the first minute. However, version one have the lead. Can they hold on? Torment dodging out of the way of bumps. And now AXB backwards going for a pass. Gimmick with that 50 will miss. Now ball kicks out to Mekdos. Open net. No one home. What? What, what happened to the third? Torment was the third man. AXB. And AXB was getting bodied. <laughs> AXB was getting bodied in Plot Twist's net. He couldn't get back. I was trying to pay attention to everybody on Plot Twist and see how they're moving up the field. And then version one, we're just throwing two players at the ball, Torment's last back, and he doesn't take it you know, patiently. Instead, he just tries to force that 50. Maybe give some time for version one to get back on defense, but he loses it. And now a free net for Plot Twist. This is so uncharacteristic of them. We don't expect that AXB though will go up again with this shot. And it's not gimmick to clean up, it's, it's just AXB nailing in the corner. Gimmick and T Torment both not making contact, allowing that ball to bounce out to AXB. And that was a precision strike. Version one, keeping their head above water. Chip shot, save to the side from Torment, a fantastic save. Yeah. Now he's got some oh, space. Yeah. The pass to gimmick, the delayed shot. Quality hit. Sosa driving by that gimmick with the 50 win. This one's gonna roll up the wall. Torment gonna wanna pass this down, has AXB in support, but AXB had to retreat. Plot Twist was expecting that pass to come through. Yeah, look at the defensive rotations. Even though it did slip up a bit earlier with Torment. Version 1 starting to clean it up a bit. We don't see too many whiffs um, or awkward touches. It was just that one break in rotation from Torment. But since then, things have been a lot cleaner. They're giving each other space. But what I like is they're being aggressive. Torment is super aggro right now as the third man, waiting to keep this ball uh, in the other side and make sure he keeps pressure. Like, they're turning Ooh. in and cutting a rotation. That's what version 1 needs. Torment has been leading the charge on a few of these plays. Good 50 from AXB, Mektos will 50 again. This one shoots across the middle, right to Gimmick. Gimmick the shot, Taroko will be back. Torment, ball goes around him, AXB in his own corner. Gonna keep it close. 50 will kick it off the ceiling. Gimmick clearing it downfield. Version one's defense holding strong. One more goal might be nice. The way Plot Twist have been playing. Backward pass, Hiroko's up. The shot down, saved on the goal line. Rebound the follow up. saved again, rebound. AXB struggling to get this to the corner. He does and field pass. Mekdos, the shot will be wide. Version one running on fumes, but still keeping the ball out of their net. That's how explosive oh, Plot Twist are. Here's another one into the midfield. Who passed this one? Was it Taroko in the corner who followed up as the third man back? Look at what this hit pass. across. That's insane. To wrap and around the Sosa. ball. Oh yes, that was so nice. What a pass that was, Turtle. That was a, a scorcher right to Sosa. Oh, and Taroko what? on the kickoff. Are you Version kidding? one falling apart pretty quickly. I was talking about Plot Twist being explosive, but this is this is on another level. Two goals in what, 10 seconds? That was unreal. What a play. That shot seems to be unbeatable. And now Plot Twist are leading this game against version one who have cleaned up their act, but it wasn't enough. Bank pass from Gimmick. We'll give time to AXB, floating pass. Torment too slow to the ball. Gimmick will tap it and has to bail. 
AXB boosts at the midfield, but Mekdos, hard clear over. Taroko cutting off that play. Backboard read. Red by AXB. Sosa will pop it. Gets demoed. Shot opportunity saved by Torment. We're under a minute left to go. Version one, if they want to stay alive in the tournament, we'll have to find an answer. The bump. Demo. Gimmick. Going for the clear. Taroko shot overpowers AXB. Too much pace on it. AXB couldn't keep it out. Wow, look at that bump from Mektos. It's so much easier and predictable as a player to just go for a 50, but instead you go under the ball, take out the goalkeeper, waste a lot of time, let the ball float in front of the net, plot twist. That's how you go up by two goals. It's that speed we talked about and also the physical plays. So much better than version one in this series alone where nobody seems to have stepped up. We saw a gimmick, maybe a few glimpses in the corners where he'd get those 50s. AXB has been stepping up his shooting in this game, but not all three of them at the same time. Something's missing. Something is missing for version one. Plot twist in control the whole series. Even when they were behind, you felt like they would bring it back and they did it indeed. And Plot Twist will be moving on to the next stage. Version one have been eliminated. And that is the last thing I expected going into this game, especially as we hit that uh, halfway mark. Version one, we're up by one goal, had a lot of the, the pressure, most of the control of the game. But then the speed of Plot Twist that we mentioned so much during the series came into effect. And all it took was two wins uh, in the midfield and then on offense with that crazy shot from Plot Twist. And it's those counterattacks too from for, uh, from Plot Twist. Remember, they're coming back on defense, transitioning onto offense. It, it only took them like one or two chances to put one in. Meanwhile, version one, when they had all the pressure, all that time, they couldn't get anything to prove for it. And, and it was just raw speed from Plot yeah. Twist. Sosa, you expect him to shoot well. He did shoot well in this series. And then the flip reset plays, I believe it was Taroko, that flip reset was incredible from him. And so Plot Twist, they do it three to nothing over version one, wow. making it look routine. We'll see them in the next stage. Turtle, let's hand it back off to the desk.